Okay, today we are doing lesson 17 uh, in the second half of the module. I will tell you up front, we won't be doing all the lessons in the second half of the module, um, just the ones that are most important. Um, some of them are kind of redundant and repeating things. So we're going to start out with the opening exercise. Uh, for his birthday, Zach and three of his friends went to a movie. They each got a ticket for $8 and the same snack from the concession stand. If Zach's mom paid $48 for the group's tickets and snacks, how much did each snack cost? And so in this particular one, they've already set up the equation. Uh, in the next couple problems we're going to work at, you're going to have to set up the equation. So in this one, our equation, 4 represents the number of kids. So there's Zach and three of his friends, so there's a, four of them total. And then in parentheses, it's showing what each of them did. They each bought a snack, where it, S, that's what we don't know yet. And then their tickets for the movie were $8 a piece. So a snack plus $8 represents how much money is spent for each person. And then the total was 48. Now there are two different ways to work out this problem. And I'm going to show you both of them. Um, and you're going to come to find that one strategy seems to work better for you than the other. And that's okay. Uh, you'll just figure out which one uh, makes more sense to you. So in the first strategy, we have 4 times the sum s plus 8 equals 48. And so in this strategy, you apply your distributive property. So you multiply 4 times everything in parentheses. And you get 4s plus 32 equals 48. And this is a multi-step equation. And so the first thing we have to do, it's kind of like working backwards. So order of operations, normally you would multiply first. Um, before you add, but when we're solving equations, we actually do the opposite. So we are going to get rid of the 32 first, so we're going to subtract 32 from both sides. And so when we do that, on the left side, we're left with 4s. And on the other side, we have 48 minus 32. And when we do that, we get 16. Now we have a multiplication equation. The opposite of multiplication is division. And so we're going to divide both sides by 4. So you can do it this way, or you can do it with the fraction bar. And so s equals 4. So each of the snacks cost $4. And then we could check our work. So we take the 4 and add it to the 8, which is what's inside the parentheses. That means it's $12 per person. There were 4 of them. 12 times 4 is 48. The second strategy that you can use to solve this, all right, so let me rewrite it up here. And I personally prefer this strategy, but that's just my preference. Like I said, either strategy is correct. Um, in this one, I can see there's a number outside the parentheses being multiplied by everything in it. So instead of multiplying through using the distributive property, I multiply um, both sides by one fourth, or you can say you divide both sides by four. So if I divide this side by four, I'm getting rid of that four out there. Um, it's not affecting anything inside the parentheses, and I'm dividing by four here. So when I do that, I get s plus eight equals 12. And then the opposite of addition is subtraction. So I subtract 8 from both sides, and s equals 4. So both ways take about the same amount of work, same amount of steps. It's just a matter of what you're more comfortable doing. Okay. Um, down at the bottom of this page, there is a chart that I'm going to refer to on the next three problems. Uh, when I'm working out the problems, um, you won't be able to see that on the screen. Um, you'll just have to refer to the one in your spiral or in your workbook. Um, but you can flip back and forth pages, but I don't want to keep switching up screens for you on here. So just know that I will be pulling information from this table as I'm working on the problems on the next page. 
Okay, as we're working through these problems, uh, these three different scenarios, um, I need to tell you that uh, there's some information in scenario one, which you don't see, uh, letting you know that this is a family of five. Uh, there are two parents and three children uh, that will uh, combine for the cost in all of them. Okay. In scenario two, um, these scenarios you don't actually see in your workbook. Uh, they are given um, and on a separate piece of paper that I'm supposed to share with you the day of. Okay, so in this scenario, um, it says for dinner one night, the family went to a local pizza parlor. The cost of the soda was $3. If each member of the family had a soda and one slice of pizza, how much did one slice of pizza cost? So we know that each person in the family had a slice of pizza. And we don't know how much that is yet, so we give it the variable P. We know that they each also had a drink that cost $3. And then that is what it is per person. And there are five people in their family. And then from the table on the previous page, uh, you can see that the total that they spent was $37.95. So using our first strategy, I can multiply the five through. So I get 5P plus 15 equals 37.95 and then uh, we subtract 15 from both sides and then I get 5p equals 22.95 and then uh, from there I would divide both sides by 5 and I find out that each piece of pizza is going to cost $4.59. Our second strategy, and I talked about on the previous page, like I said it just comes down to personal preference, which strategy you prefer when they have something set up that has the distributed property. Um, I can divide both sides by 5. And so I'm left with P plus 3 equals 7.59. And then I would subtract 3 from each side. And when I do that, P equals $4.59. Either way, I can check my answer by taking the $4.59, adding it to the $3 for the drink, I get $7.59, and then multiply that by 5, and I get the total $37.95. Uh, remember, at any time, if I'm going too fast for you, uh, just pause it, make sure you have stuff written down, and then push play again. Okay, I'm going to move on to scenario 4. Okay, same family. Uh, while John, Louie, and Bonnie went to the baseball game, Ag and Missy went shopping. Uh, they bought a t-shirt for each member of the family and bought two pairs of sandals that cost $10 a pair. How much was each t-shirt? So what we don't know is the t-shirt, so I'm going to assign that as T. And they said so they bought one for each member of the family. So that's five of them. So five times T. And then they brought two pairs of sandals, which cost $10 a pair. So 2 times 10. You can write 2 times 10, or you can go ahead and write the 20. All right. All right. Then you go look at your table on the other page that gave you some general information. And on that table, they tell you that that total for that shopping spree was $120. So that equals 120. Okay, so this one doesn't have any parentheses because all five members weren't getting everything that's the same. So in this one we have five times T plus 20 for the sandals. Okay, so I've got multiplication and addition. So when I'm solving an equation, it's kind of opposite of operations. 
Um, so I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. And when I do that, I'm left with 5t on the left and 100 on the right. Opposite of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And when I do that, t equals 20. So each of the t-shirts cost $20. I can double check my work. 5 times 20 is 100 plus the $20 for the sandals is 120. Whoops. Okay. Now, move this up for scenario six. Uh, while on vacation, the family rented a car to get them to all the places they wanted to see for the five days. The car costs a certain amount each day, plus a one-time insurance fee of $50. How much was the daily cost of the car not including the insurance fees. All right. So if I go back up here, I can see that I need to figure out the daily cost. So I'm going to assign that the letter D. You can use any letter you want. They have that car for five days. So five times D. And then I go look at the table, and when I look at the table of information, it tells me that they paid $400 for the rental car, but that includes the insurance fee. So we need to know what the daily cost is uh, before they put the insurance fee in there. So that whatever it was for the five days, plus that insurance fee, gave them the total that they paid, which was 400 So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract the 50 off, And when I do that, I get 5 times D equals 350. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And so the daily cost of renting the car is $70. So they were paying $70 a day to have the rental. Um, and then they also had to pay the 50 for the insurance. But the daily cost was 70 when you are working on the problem set, uh, one of the big things here is that you'd be able to set up the express, uh, equations um, before you solve them. Now keep in mind, in this particular one, if somebody wrote 50 plus 5D equals 400, that is the exact same expression or equation. So just keep that in mind when you are uh, setting them up and checking.